Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Lost Maze Manhunt Checkpoint. And we're giving the um, the big circle of doom um, method an another shot because well it seems like a good, it seems like a nice idea and we'd like to sort of play around with it a bit more. So this works as I was saying in the last um, in the last run. This works by having a big circle that shows up on the maps for the hunters. Um, and they know that I am always inside that circle. That's too good a car. Um, they know that I'm always inside that circle, so they can use that to try and find me. However, the circle is sort of essentially attached to me with an elastic band. And so that means if I drive quickly in one direction like this, I can sort of stretch it out. So the circle now starts moving quickly towards me. And I can then change direction suddenly, like fairly suddenly like this and it's going to massively overshoot and go off somewhere else. Um, so now I can start thinking about actually playing the game properly and going off to try and find a, um, a checkpoint. And that means I need to find a non-supercar uh, to change into. That, well, that one will do. That's another blister, I think, like I was using in the last run. And that did reasonably well for me. They, they did catch me, but it was entirely my own fault. Get out then. There we go. Right, so now that I've stolen a different car, a more um, normal car, it should tell me quite quickly where the first checkpoint is. And I can then head off and try and find that. So this mo game mode does have a bit of time pressure on it because the circle gradually shrinks over time. And that means that... Casino bridge, okay. I, I, I can get to that one. So that means if I spend my time... If I take my time getting to a checkpoint, then... It makes it easier and easier for the hunters to find me, uh, which obviously is a, is a bad thing from my point of view. So that encourages me to do things like that and run red lights and just generally keep moving rather than sit around and just try and dri uh, tr driving to, uh, fairly normally as I, as I would typically if I was playing this game under the normal rules. Um, and the reason we've changed this is because we reckon it's going to make the game a bit more interesting if there's a bit more pressure on the on the uh, on the prey, because that way I have to keep moving. I can't just sort of sit in traffic and make it try and try and hide from the hunters that way. I need to keep going, keep going, keep going, pick, trying to pick up all of the checkpoints as quickly as I can. Now we've still got the rules where I'm not allowed to use sports cars or supercars in order to get the checkpoints. However, there's no reason that I can't use them to get to the checkpoints. So that is a strategy I might I might consider. For now, I'm going to stick with this blister for um, for getting up there because I'm not too far away from the from the first checkpoint. It's only up at the casino bridge, as you can see. It says so at the bottom of the map, at uh, bottom of the screen, and also it's showing up on my mini map and on the uh, on the bigger map you'll be looking at as well. Oh dear, no, I'm in the wrong lane, so I'm going to have to jump that. Right. Okay. So in the last run, as I was saying, I got caught because I happened to run a red light at an inopportune moment when there was a hunter nearby. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna hope that doesn't happen again. This is just running endless red lights like that, um, and hopefully I'll be able to get up there without them without them uh, seeing me, seeing too much of me. All right, that goes well. Since that car was going so slow, I can take that because it's still an orange light. That's okay, right? Oh, this feels a lot tenser, and part of the reason it's so tense is because I don't know how big the um, the circle is around me. Now, I know that it starts off at 800 metres, and I'm pretty, we're pretty sure that's a radius, not a diameter, which is a, a good thing, because that uh, gives me twice as much space to play with. Uh, but also, um, but it shrinks gradually, so every, every two seconds, I believe, it should get um, a metre smaller, so it's going to get a bit tight a bit quickly. Now, the, the theory is... That each time, no, 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 there's also another thing though. Each time I pick up a checkpoint, the circle will get 150 meters bigger. So in theory, that's about five minutes worth of um, circle sh sh of shrinkage. So as long as I get to pick up a checkpoint every five minutes or faster, then the circle won't get any smaller. So I'll always have a reasonable amount of space to play with. That's the theory. In practice. Uh, whether I can actually manage to take a checkpoint every five minutes, that's the challenge. Um, and we'll have to see how that goes. And I'm, I'm going to, as, you, as you've seen, I've been driving fairly enthusiastically. 
not paying too much attention to the traffic laws until i get to this point where i'm quite close and the hunters are going to know that i'm quite close so they're going to be out watching for me so here we go oh, there's another red light here right okay so there's the checkpoint big obvious red thing that's nice and nice and easy to see that's mike he knows i'm well he doesn't really know where i am precisely at all he knows he'll have a bit of an idea though so he's he's trying to block this row of traffic he's going to wave a gun around and in an attempt to intimidate me into thinking that he, i've been spotted um hopefully he'll start scaring these cars and then we can all panic and um no he's just dealing random cars Did I do a good job of um, sticking with traffic there? I don't really know. But I'm going to take this checkpoint anyway and carry on along here. Are they behind me still? Tristan is. Okay, he's... thinks that's me. And now he's probably sure that's me because I didn't. I definitely didn't react like an AI there. To be honest, I have to admit, I'm not sure exactly how an AI would react in that situation. Um, because... I... If you ram into them, sometimes they get scared and panic and drive away. They don't drive away quite the way I am now, though. I mean, I'm definitely driving like a player, not like a not like an AI. So, yeah, he's definitely going to notice me. We've got a chase going, and I've got my extra five minutes from going through that uh, checkpoint. But now I have to both lose him and take the next checkpoint in my in the five minutes for it to um, for me to actually make any sort of bonus out of it. Ooh, come on. Oh, no. That corner is allowed him to catch up a bit. Okay, so the next checkpoint is down at five ways. So if I sort of try and lead him down that way, maybe. He's back behind me again. Um, okay, the end door braking maneuver kind of works, but I got myself a bit more stuck than I, intended, than I wanted to. Um, I, need to get, I need to get away from him. I need to change cars. I need to get the next checkpoint. There's Mike as well. So there's two of them on my tail now. That's not ideal. But if Tristan wants to spin me around like that, that could be kind of useful. Because then I can drive off in a different direction from him. Ah, there we go. He's crashed. I've still got Mike to deal with. And it's sort of a... We have a bit of a sort of gentleman's agreement that I won't try and take the next checkpoint uh, while I'm in a chase. So I need to get away from Mike and Tristan, actually, for that matter. I need, uh, then I want to switch cars and then approach the next checkpoint at, at a reasonable speed. Now, I can't take that car. It's too good. I need to get around another corner. I'm still visible from the, like, from the road where I was. Okay. Oh, no, he's still there. Ah! Is this down to the... Uh, now, this might be down to the, uh, the rubber band circle thing. And it's sort of sitting on me and he's able to, able to follow me a bit more than he would if this was a normal hunt. I think there's a way out down the end of here. I hope there's a way out down the end of here. Let's go. Let's use my nippy, hopefully more agile than his car. Yes, there we go. That car's buried in the ground. Okay, I'm now... I'm now... Can I claim to be out of a chase? I think I can probably claim to be out of a chase at this point. Let's take another couple of corners. Can't steal that car. It's too good. I can, that one's borderline. The rules will let me use it, but my sort of but it's a sports classic, which is kind of like a sports car, but not actually one. Okay, you know what? I'm taking this one. I reckon I'm free and safe. Then I'm going to take this car. Take the car! Don't just stand there. What are you doing, woman? All right, get back in that one then. What the hell's going on there? I don't. I honestly don't know what happened there. And I, well, I have my suspicions. I think I was a little bit too close to the um, the other car to be able to. Or well, no, I'd, I parked in such a way that my car door was blocking the other car, and that's why it wouldn't let me take it. I think. Right. I need another car before I before I try and do anything else because there's this has got far too much damage. There's far too many hunters around. That'll do. Is that an whatever it is? It's a coupe. It'll it'll have to do. Now they have said that they've started to notice coupes because I drive them all the time. Um, 
because they're basically the best cards that I'm allowed to use. So, which is part of the reason I was in a blister for that first part. However, seeing a coupe, where am I going? West of Red Car Park. Okay, seeing a coupe down there is not an absolute giveaway that it's me. So I think I might be, might be all right. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I am away at least, which is nice. Um, I think that dive down the narrow road and then up the alleyways has got me a bit of um, a bit of distance and a bit of freedom. So fingers crossed, this is going to work. And get me away. Now, this that was shooting. Who's shooting? I don't know why. Oh well, I mean, it sort of has to be the hunters. But right, this is very paranoia-inducing. Um, there's the checkpoint, so let's try and sneak towards it now. Oh, there's Mike. There we go. A nice neat stop there. And my brake lights are on, which is nice. <laughs> so that's something else we've um, coded in recently. I say we. I mean, Tristan did that. Um, and all the rest of the coding, in fact. So now we have um, brake lights on cars will come on when they're when you when you're stopped at a um, when well, when they're stopped because they do on um, AI cars and it's really really fiddly to make your cars you make your car do that manually. So we've got it doing it um, automatically when uh, through the game mode. Right. Okay. I think I might be being followed. So. I'm going to stop here, carefully. Oh, I couldn't move quickly enough to not get shot. <sighs> that went quite well, though. I got three of them, which is more than normal. <laughs> I think he's approaching at speed now. <clears throat> I'm wondering about this sports classic. Basically going through the checkpoint now. The light is green. But if he takes it... Four, oh, he's accelerating. Five. No, it's not him, because it's not gone after him. Never mind. Mm. Very much reacted oh. like him. I've got a jankily parked car here. Oh, I don't want to challenge. I do this the old-fashioned way by carjacking rather than... I know even a carjacking sets them all off, apparently. Quite wide. A uh, blonde woman heading east from the checkpoint, maybe. Okay, I got one who came to the checkpoint by the right time, it wasn't him. So, blonde woman heading east. In a blue uh, compact. Circling through in the right way. Heading west again, uh, back uh, a street south. Heading towards your See, car now. On. Yep. That's a very Lawrence thing to do. Yes. Okay, blonde woman. Okay, you're going to have to give me some commentary. Uh, oh, he's heading west. Saying, I mean, yeah, I, I can see yeah. you in the distance, but I am okay. not keeping up. Turning south by uh, shopping centre. Down the east side of shopping centre at the moment. I'm just going to go down the west side. Uh, sorry, no, I'm on the east side as well, never mind. End or breaking, or attempt, I think. There we go, there's the end or breaking. Mm -hmm. He's turned around, he's heading back towards the shopping centre. I think I see uh, Just turn right, yeah, turn right. Yeah. Yep, eyes on. Uh, straight up north. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I didn't take you out there. <laughs> nice, good hit. 
Thank you. Oops, sorry. Oh, nearly. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Uh, it's heading towards yeah. checkpoint. Same goes five ways. Turn right. Oh, you and he both blinked a lot there. I didn't see where he went. Yeah. Neither did I. Uh... Oh, that might be him. Uh, passing the, the church on the west side. Don't mind you. Uh, turning left beyond that uh, inferno. Okay. Yep, turning right at the end. Going round golf course. Okay. I took a gamble that he turned right at the top, but he didn't. Turns right. Uh, slide. Turning right again. Going past. Oh, there's a construction site. That's a dead there. end. That's a dead end. No, there's your way through. Okay. Oh, I didn't see where he went though. Ah, I didn't go the right way for the way through. Good. Oh, no, yeah, keep going way. that way. The way through. Not that there. Apparently is a bit not to it. the left of that. <laughs> but yeah, I think we've lost him. I'm gonna be honest. Na navigation is not my strong suit. I am south side of the shopping centre at the moment. I just shot someone who wasn't him. Okay. She had the unfortunate uh, attribute of being blonde. Of course, blonde woman. I yeah. definitely had not gone that way. Could he be, uh, I'm following a car, could he be approaching the checkpoint now? Hang on, let me have a look. Uh, yes, from the east. Yeah. I'm going to go yes. through red car park. Good work. Blonde woman. 